In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add multiple locations for your business to your WordPress website. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with a powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So you've got a local business that has multiple locations and you wanna get those locations listed in local search results. What can you do? Well, our All-in-One SEO local business SEO add-on can output schema code that can provide search engines with information about your local business locations. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the all-in-one SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on plugins and then click on the button that says add new. If you haven't done so already, we're gonna to wanna to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're gonna to go to the account section into your download area and click the big green button that says download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the plugins page of your WordPress website, we're gonna go ahead and click the upload plugin button and then click choose file and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded and then click the Install Now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO Setup Wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're gonna head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down the page and click the link, there's a space for us to enter our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at aioseo.com slash account, make sure you're on the downloads tab. And then next to where it says license key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. And then we're gonna paste the license key into the license key field, click connect, and that's it, All-in-One SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you wanna be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're gonna scroll up and click on the dashboard link just so we're all on the same page. So now that you've got All-in-One SEO installed, you may need to activate the All-in-One SEO local business add-on. To do that, head on over to the All-in-One SEO menu and click on Feature Manager. And then scroll down until you find the local business SEO feature. It's right here. And we're just going to flip the toggle switch from deactivated to activated. Local business SEO is an advanced feature. You might need to upgrade your plan to activate it depending on what plan you're on. After you have the local business SEO feature activated, you want to head on over to the all-in-one SEO menu on the left and click on the link that says local SEO. There's three tabs up top, locations, opening hours, and maps. We want to stay on the locations tab. Underneath the location settings section, this is what we've been looking for. So if you are a business with multiple locations, what you want to do is flip this toggle switch from no to yes. And then we're going to click save changes here. And after we do, I want to point out something on our left-hand menu here. So keep an eye on this left side menu. I'm going to save changes and you'll notice that now we have a new menu item called location. So this is how All-in-One SEO communicates your multiple business location information back to Google and other search engines. Before we jump in and add a business location, I just wanna go over the rest of the settings on this page. Underneath where we flip that toggle switch, we have display location info, and this is just how you can display your location on your WordPress website. You can drop it in as a Gutenberg block. You can use a short code, a widget, or PHP code. Below that, we have advanced location settings. So this is the permalink that we use for location. So it'll have the name of your website. My website is aioseo-demo.local. And then the slug we're gonna use is location. But if for some reason you wanted to use a custom slug here, you can by clicking the box that says use custom slug. Keep in mind that the default settings throughout All-in-One SEO are very good. I would say 99% of our users don't need to change anything here. You can just leave the defaults and you'll be fine. But if for some reason you don't like using the word location here and you wanted to use something else, 
this is where you do it. So I've got that box checked that says use custom slug. Let's say, for example, I'm a chain of restaurants and I want to use the word restaurant instead of location. All I do is type in restaurant there and it will use restaurant now instead of location. The locations category permalink functions the same way. So I just check that checkbox and put in whatever I'd like to use instead of locations category. The next option below that is enhanced search. It's off by default. If you toggle this on, it's going to include those business locations within your own site-wide search. So that's not people searching from Google. That's people searching your own site. And then below that, if you do toggle that switch on, you have enhanced search excerpt, which would show the location address next to the search result. So if you wanted someone to be able to search for your business location from within your site and see that actual location in the search result on your own website, you would toggle this on as well. Uh, we're going to leave both of those off. And then the last option in these advanced settings is, is custom admin labels. So this speaks to that label we saw up top. I'll scroll back up so you can see that on the left-hand menu here that says locations. If you don't like that word locations and wanted to change it to something else, we use our restaurant example again. I could change the name of a single restaurant location to restaurant and a plural restaurant locations to restaurants. And keep in mind, these are just labels within the WordPress admin. These are not customer facing. When you're done making changes, click the blue save changes button. I'm actually going to undo some of these changes because I don't want these changes made to my website. I'm happy with the default settings. So I'm going to uncheck both of those, but I do want multiple locations on. So I will click the blue save changes button at the top here. So now let's go ahead and actually add a location for our business. Head on over to the locations menu that we created by making this change and enabling multiple locations. Click the link that says add new. So here's our new location. It looks like a page or a post, but it's not. So the content of this location is not super important. I do want to give it a meaningful title. So I'm going to call this Main Street location. We're not going to add any content here because it's not a page or post that's going to appear in Google. The schema data that we generate here is going to be what's communicated to Google's. Here's our normal AIO SEO settings section. We're going to scroll down below that and there's a new section here called AIO SEO local business. So I want to give this a name. I'm going to call it Matt's Restaurant Main Street. I can select a business type here. There's all kinds of different types of businesses. If you're looking for restaurant, you're not going to find it. What you will find is food establishment. So choose that. That means restaurant. You can upload an image here or pick one from the media library. I'm just going to use this demo site image for now. And then we're going to put in our business location. So I've added my business location is 132 Main Street, Newport Beach, California. It's kind of a made up location. Country is United States of America. You can totally mess with the address format. Uh, again, the defaults in all-in-one SEO are very good, so I'm just going to leave it alone. It's saying address line one and two, city, state, zip. That's very typical for United States. We're not going to mess around with a map right now or any of this contact info. You know, of course, you can drop in your phone number. Uh, fax number is not really going to apply for a restaurant or email address. I'm not going to worry about that ID and tax ID, but I did want to show you this last feature here. I don't know if you've ever seen on Google Maps when you pull up someone's business, you get these dollar signs here to show you how expensive it is. So if I'm a business that has average prices, I could just pick the three dollar signs here. And that's how you get that to show up in Google when someone's searching out your business. I'm going to leave the rest of this blank for now. We're going to click the blue update button. And that's it. We've added our business location. If you want to add new locations, head on back over to the dashboard. We can see our main street location here and I can add new or I can also add new from the left hand menu here. So that's how to add multiple business locations to your WordPress website. If you don't already have our awesome all in one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video as well as many other SEO jobs 
that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to use all-in-one SEO search statistics to track your SEO progress over time. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, all-in-one SEO.